Oh, uh, hey. Didn't see you there. My name's Aragotic. I've played RuneScape since early 2006. I should be a pro by now, but I always played the game really casually. I've never experienced any bosses aside from Armadill, and that was on RS3. I've only experienced about a quarter of the content that RuneScape has to offer. So the goal of this account is to experience everything, and I'm creating this series to document my journey. This isn't going to be the most efficient journey ever, but any tips and tricks along the way I will point out. Step one in our journey is to create a name for ourselves. Come on. All right, we got our name, Tacos Tacos. All right, now we got our name, time to make ourselves look good. I'd say that looks like a good boy. Alright, tutorial is done. Time to go to the mainland. Were you planning to be an Iron Man, good sir? No. It only took me 50... <laughs> it only took me 50 minutes, okay guys? Banked our items, now we're gonna try to pickpocket men for 5 thieving. We're gonna do that here so that if we die, we can just grab the money after. <sighs> One moment. I was recording pickpocketing, but I messed up, and I accidentally attacked the man, and yeah, it's no big deal if I die, I could have just stopped attacking him, but I panicked because I don't want any experience in stats that I don't want. I had a mini heart attack that I messed up the account within the first five minutes of stepping off the tutorial island. I think eventually I'm going to have all stats maxed on this account, however, I think I want to try to PK at different level brackets on my way up. Quick tip, by the way, is that you can talk to these guys over here, and you can make it so that when you pick up arrows or runes, you auto-equip them. It's really helpful so that you don't have to worry about the bag space. So the man finally killed us. But we got five thieving. And now we're on to bigger and better things. Let's get some starting cash, yeah? So we made it to Edgeville. This is a pretty good way to make some starter cash. We're gonna go to a bounty world and then we're just gonna pick up anything that's on the ground that people leave behind. I like to aim for about 200k before I go on to other ways of making money. This is a pretty good way, but you're gonna be competing with a lot of bots and a lot of players at the same time. But it makes sense because this is literally money just being left on the ground. Looting as a level three is pretty safe. Unless you're this big bully right here. This guy right here that just kept on standing at the edge waiting for me to come into the wilderness for a good 10 minutes or so. Bully. Look at this filth. What the hell happened to his legs by the way? I had enough of this bot going to every single pile I go to and getting all the loot with me getting nothing. So we're gonna do what Jagex should do. Murder. I am over here on my grind and this guy is not even at his computer. Ignore the fact that I fumbled through the menus, okay? So I was going to kick him into the nether realm. Unfortunately, I did set it up so I couldn't attack people. So the only thing that would work was magic and I completely forgot about this fact. So I just kind of looked like an idiot instead. You're welcome, Jagex, for taking care of our Alice R3. 22K, not bad. So I've been standing here for quite a while now and I've been trying to figure out why this guy has a bazooka but is using his feet. Uh, last I knew that's not how you use a bazooka, but also why is there a bazooka in RuneScape? I'm so lost right now. I'm actually so confused. Side note though, that is pretty cool. Ooh, okay, they're all done. We can take their arrows now. Mine. Ooh, 38k. Another 37k. Hey, another 30k. Hey, that's almost 50k, dude. That's pretty good loot. It's 
since that loot was pretty good, we're going to be over the 200k mark. That means we're going to go buy ourselves some equipment, get ourselves a little jazzed up. Alright, 182k. That's not bad at all. We're going to go into the barrack now, though, and we're going to buy our staffs and runes there. Generally speaking, it's cheaper to buy them at the shops than it would be to buy them off the GE. That's not always the case with the staffs. However, with the runes, it's usually correct. I have incredibly bad memories of this shop because back in the day the only way I knew how to get runes was from other players or to come to this shop. I remember when I was first starting I thought magic was a really cool idea and so my idea was to buy a bunch of runes from this shop. A lot of other people did this as well. Unfortunately I had no money so what I did was I spent all night going back and forth between the bank and the iron ore right outside of Varrock and then I sold it to the players at the bank because before the grand exchange, we had to actually talk to each other. So little me was really proud with my cash stack, right? And I go to the rune shop and I'm buying my runes. However, what I didn't realize was that one of the other players was really smart and they brought the mugger into the shop and then closed the door on me with the mugger. And the mugger slowly killed me. Nowadays, someone doing this, you might be able to get your stuff back in time. However, during this time period, if you died, your stuff showed immediately to other players. This was when I learned that RuneScape was a cutthroat game. Quick tip, you can buy the death runes from the shop and then sell them back to the Grand Exchange for some extra cash. Alright, so we bought the death runes at about 200 to 225, and we're going to be selling them for 239. So, uh, you know, profits. Now that we've bought our runes and sold most of our stuff, I want to go back to Edgeville. I want to kill some bots, maybe get their loot, and also at the same time we can level up our magic. We look like a guy that's about to hit some high, but not too high of numbers. You know, somewhere in the 2 to 3 range. Alright, this is going to be our loadout going out. I almost forgot the wooden shield because, you know, it only has defense bonuses, no negatives. It was made for us. Listen, I'll tell you what I told your brother Alice. Get out of here. I didn't realize how crazy the damage is early on as a mage. In my head this was going to work a lot better than it actually did. Unfortunately I spent quite a lot of time here trying to kill the people and everybody was able to just get away because I don't have a way to finish them off so all they need to do is eat. Alice, I swear to God, if I see you around these parts one more time, go back to Lumbridge and meet your brother. Oh, well, it appears I changed my mind, actually, because, yeah, okay, you, you're free to go. Just kidding, you dumb, stupid idiot. Good fight. Alright, we got our first PK. Good fight. I was feeling pretty good about this PK because we had fought a few times prior, but unfortunately our celebration was pretty short-lived. PKing at this bracket was working for a little bit, but once we got a few levels, we couldn't really find many people. So we're going to change it up. We're going to buy sapphire rings from the GE, turn them into recoils. This will get us magic experience while also getting us quite a bit of cash, actually. If you've made it this far in the video, I would just like to say thank you. I appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to see some noob learning the ropes again. The next update is going to be less of an intro and is going to have better defined goals that we reach. I've got some good ideas that I'm really looking forward to recording for you, and I hope to see you then. Take care.